Hello everybody! First of all, I should say Happy New Year! Um, after my little break from away from YouTube over the Christmas period, um, I thought I'd kick off with, well, a freebie. I don't know about anybody else, but this absolutely a stonking amount of freebies that seem to have all appeared dramatically over the Christmas period. Um, lots of good cheer were had around. And one of these came from Orchestral Tools, and it's via their signed player. And um, free download, orchestraltools.com. Head over there, download the free sign player, um, create an account, log in, and you get this wonderful little screen. It'll be blank to start with, and you get an absolute stonking amount of fantastic quality free instruments. Uh, to install them, all you need to go into is my licenses. Yeah, flick it over to there when it decides to warm up. There we go. And then you get um, this bit where it says Sign Factory. Now this, this one where it says Layers, you need to go onto their website and there's a free download. If you scroll to the bottom, there's some free downloads and there's one of them is called Layers. Uh, we'll come to that in a minute. But the main bulk of this Sign Player has these wonderful instruments from the Sign Factory. So you've got a piano, a percussion, a, string, a free string ensemble, big band horns, church organ, acoustic guitars, a felt piano, drums and percussion, a ukulele, a free jazz flute, electric pianos, electric basses. Now, to get hold of these and get these into the sound player to be able to play, all you need to do is literally click on the download and it'll take you over to where do you want to install it. So I'm going to install it to contact library 2, start download and it'll just scoot off there. Thankfully I've got a fairly quick connection so this won't take long to to download um, and we are done we're done now so all we need to do is go back to library and in here we will go to free electric pianos browse uh, you can have the roads or the Wurlitzer let's go to the roads double click on the roads oh we've got a piano already in there let me just get rid of that to, to get rid of anything articulations that are already loaded just right click and remove and then left click and change that to channel one and everything will play on chat midi channel one it's a bit soft let's make it a bit louder there we go your roads um if i just remove that and in the wurlitzer so very nice articulations there uh let's just do with the volume up go for the lovely felt piano because I really like this sound this is great uh, the felt piano uh, just clear that Oop, right click remove felt piano and that loads let's just the volume a bit Very nice at the top end as well, on the bottom end. Not too muddy, really nice. I can see me using that quite a bit in some of my compositions so that's the spindle um, let's go for tell you what let's go for some big band horns now in the horns we've got 
sections. We've got a solo trumpet, a mute trumpet, trombone, baritone sax, a sax section and a brass section. So we'll go for trumpet mute. And I just what I did there to replace what was on channel one is literally click all of it, drag it, put it on top of the thing so it's highlighted. That's it. Now what you'll see in here um, is we have these different articulations. We've got uh, staccatissimo, marcato long, short, full, scoops, shakes, sustain, uh, accented. So if I just nip over to performance, you can see the key mapped down here. So on your keyboard, I'm just give it the right area, there we go. If I press D sh uh, C sharp, I don't get any sound because only the white notes here will be the ones that will play the samples. Anything that's black will not play anything. And anything that's gr uh, sort of like a beigey, orangey colour are your key switches. So, stac staccatissimo. Let's just turn the sound up a little bit so you can hear it properly. So you can play around with them, um, and you can switch more, it's, it's monophonic and polyphonic. You can change your polyphonic dynamics and everything in there. So we go to library again and we'll say, let's go for trombone, let's try and see, no, well, let's see if there's any, with quite a few, yeah, brass section. So if we go to brass section, and I've done it again. Uh, easy just to remove and change it to one. It's the only bit I don't like about the interface is getting it to go on MIDI channel one. So there we go, it's amazing that this is free. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to see if it actually did end and it wasn't just a sample that was going to go on because I thought that would be totally unnatural. Can you imagine a trumpeter playing endlessly in one breath? Uh, <laughs> it's not going to happen. So anyway, um, so that's your big band horns, which are really nice. I don't want to go through every single one here because these are free to download and you can play with them yourself. It's not going to cost you anything. Um, string ensemble, whole string ensemble. Let's go for that. And you get spiccatos and sustains, and it's now interestingly, the reason why I said before you've got uh, your key switches, anything else white is playable and anything's black isn't payable, and anything that's a beige orangey colour, they are key switches. Now, this time, they're up the other end of your keyboard. They're on MIDI note E6 and F6. So that's up here. <clears throat> 
and there was one other instrument that I got hold of. Um, where was it? I think. Did I pick it up in here? Yeah, that was it. The the free series uh, layers. So in here, we have the free download of layers, and these are just sort of chords. Uh, full orchestral chords and you get them for wood, woodwinds as well and you get them for the brass section and you get them for the string section so if I just load up the full orchestra so now we've got a Yeah, how this works, right, um, is if you want just chords, major chords, that'll be C major, D major, E major, F major, G major, A major, B major, and back to C. Now, if you want to do a minor chord, uh, you would have to do your key switch to C sharp, get C minor, D minor, E minor, F, G, A, B minor, back to C. If you wanted to do a scale, if I can get this timing right. So you could actually do a proper scale on, on the uh, keyboard. You just have to get your key switches right. And you get, then you could do, um, sus sustain the fourth of your chord uh, to resolve to back to the root, uh, a bit of music theory there for you. You've got uh, staccatos, um, sus sustained four staccatos, low unisons, so that, that's your strings and then that's your brasses so it's a useful thing to have um, so that is a very quick whistle stop tour of the sign factory which is recorded at sunset sound studio 3 teldex scoring stage and the large hall on a medium stage um, it's something i will be coming back to a few times because I did pick up another library, which the Eagle Eye of Year would have seen earlier, uh, Opaline, which is quite an intimate sound and very, very nice, and we will dig into that in a later video. Uh, but for now, head over to orchestraltools.com, download the sign player, make an account, and then you can download all these free, fantastic sounding instruments and create, well, any mock-up you want uh, is, is, is fantastic. So um, that's the new year started with a video. Um, I will be doing quite a few more reviews and stuff like this. And of course, in the future, there'll be more Omnisphere tips and tricks and libraries and stuff. I'm currently working on one at the moment, which hopefully won't take me too much longer to complete because uh, I do have a, shall we say, a fairly sized project so I want to get my teeth into with the aforesaid Omnisphere um, and also a new VST picked up during the um, Christmas sales which eh, more of that in a future video once I've got my head round of how, how it all works and is set up. So if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, uh, put a comment below um, how if you found well these three instruments useful and Put a link to something that you've actually made 
using just these instruments or that include something from these instruments you know, put a link and tell us what instruments you actually used from the uh, sign factory um, and then uh, I will catch you in the next one and see you then